Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I have a layout for Wild Whisper Designs here today. So I'm going to be working with Pam Bray's uh, collection and I'm going to be working with this stamp set. I'm going to create a background using this stamp set. I have a huge collection of Catherine Poehler stamps that I mixed and matched to that one pattern paper that has all of the little circles on it. So I have, this is Tutti Fruity and Be Mine. I'll kind of say the names of the inks as I uh, go through them. The idea here is that you're gonna take a large stamp set. It can be any stamp set, doesn't have to be this one. Whatever you have on hand, that is Lime Ricky ink. And you're going to go ahead and ink up your stamp set, spray it with a mini mister and then stamp it. You're gonna get these beautiful, gorgeous, kind of multicolored stamped images. This creates an amazing background for a scrapbook page. And there's no coloring involved. It's literally just lots of, of um, inking and then spraying stuff with water. I recommend doing your lightest color first and then your darkest color, um, but you don't have to. And if, you are using Catherine Pooler inks. It's totally, totally cool if um, you kind of get that ink into a lighter color pad. It wipes up super easy. Just wipe it up and you're fine. And then maybe uh, flip your ink pad upside down to let the ink kind of run to the top of the felt pad again and it will be totally cool. Don't even fret about it. Um, if you are a very kind of persnickety stamper, it might bother you. So now I'm taking three more of the stamps from that stamp set. I'm putting all three of them onto the same acrylic block. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to ink up my stamp. I'm going to spray it with a little mister. And then I'm going to stamp it in kind of the open areas around those big floral blocks. So when this was totally done, when I was all done stamping this entire background, I went through the ink pads, wiped up colors that had maybe gotten mixed in with uh, different colors. And then if it seemed like the felt pad was dry, I re-inked it. And if it felt that if it looked like the ink just kind of redistributed and was good, I left it. Uh, so it was fairly easy cleanup but look at what you get. So if you are a scrapbooker and you want to stamp a gorgeous, colorful black background, this is how I would highly recommend you do it because it was so much fun to do. So once I have this background completely inked up the way I like it, you can see here I'm adding some more little bits and pieces. Very, very simple process here. You can be the most inept stamper and still do this. Next, I'm just taking some Glorious Days Shimmers Vibes, and I am splattering liberally. I am a big fan of liberal splatters, and I like to do my splatters before I create my layout, which is why I like to liberally splatter, because you know a lot of it's going to get covered up as you create your layout, but this uh, turned out great. Now I'm going to do some fussy cutting. I'm going to fussy cut a whole mess of these little circles. And then we're gonna go ahead and create our layout. So this is the front piece. When you get your collection from Wild Whisper, the front piece that kind of tells you what the collection is and all that is actually a paper that is the same weight as all of their papers. So you can use, um, use it in your layout and it's double-sided so you have an extra pattern on the other side. This is the kind of cut apart sheet from the collection and I wanna use this one square on it. So I'm just gonna cut out the piece that I want to use. So this is what I'm gonna use from the collection. I'm gonna use that front piece that has all the patterns and I'm gonna use this little cut apart piece. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, trim my photos. I want my photo to be pretty square and I have two of them that I'm going to be using today. And so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of trim them close to the same size as that cut apart piece. One of them is a photo of some delicious oh, watermelon and the beautiful flowers I got at the farmer's market. And then the other one is 
from the day we went to the farmer's market, we snapped photos, my sister and I snapped photos of us in our masks with our flowers because that's what you do. <laughs> you guys are going to have an amazing week on my channel. There's going to be a video every day, Monday through Friday, and maybe even over the weekend. Uh, I live in the county that is currently number one in the nation for COVID cases. And so I, uh, yeah, I'm going to be at home all this week. I was at home all weekend. Uh, I'm pretty much not going anywhere. Oh, and we're getting a huge giant snowstorm Wednesday. So yeah, I'm just, I'm home. Uh, so I have a video because I scrapbooked like all weekend long. I have a video for you every day this week. And then there, oh, I'm also going to start to share with you this week some of the new series and some of the new content that will be coming to my channel fully starting in January. But I'm going to give you guys um, a sneak peek and kind of talk about that this week, the different things that is, are going to be going on. So I placed that paper from the packaging right across the middle of my page. And then I grabbed some aqua cardstock from my stash and I'm just going to use that aqua cardstock to map my photos. So this layout is all about the color. I wanted this layout to have all the colors in it, but I didn't want it to look busy. And so uh, one of the things I'm going to do to kind of make that happen is to map my photos in this kind of cool teal color. And then we're gonna cover up a lot of that busy um, strip across the middle, but you'll still see a lot of it and this layout will still have a lot of color. So I have here my Big Mama roll of foam tape. I'm going to use the foam tape to uh, pop up both of my photos here. So this is uh, an epoxy flare from Scrap and Happy Studios. It's one of her big ones. I She only does the big, big ones every so often, but they're so fun. So I am going to go ahead and use it as my title, and then I'm going to go ahead and take all of these fussy cut circles and I'm kind of kind going to kind of position them all around my page. Down below in the description box, you will find a link to the blog post with all of the uh, links to everything I've used from the Wild Whisper shop. You'll also find uh, my affiliate link to Spiegel Mom Scraps in case you want to grab a big mama roll of foam tape. She also has some other fun goodies in the shops that I'm going to be playing with this coming week. So you can stay tuned for that. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to use the new Fab Four Foils in her shop. So you'll find that down below. You'll also find a link to Scrap and Happy Studios. If you haven't grabbed these gorgeous papers or stickers from Wild Whisper Design, there is a coupon code down below that you can use. I think that's all the nuts and bolts stuff I have to tell you. There is a coupon code. I um, really, this collection is so good, you guys. Um, I've, now that I'm like really digging into it, the more I dig into it, the more I absolutely love it. And I would highly recommend giving this stamping technique a try. It's so fun and so easy. Like I said, even if you think you're a terrible stamper, even if you think you could never stamp, you can do this. This is easy. Okay, I am just kind of deciding where I want all these fun little circles to go. Um, I really loved the white ones because they really just kind of broke up a lot of the color. There was a lot, you know, this is a super colorful layout. It really is. I just, I went color crazy on this, but it turned out really, really pretty. And I hope that you like it as much as I do. Be sure to check back on my channel um, every day this week. It's going to be a very content heavy, but fun week. I think next week's going to be pretty content heavy too. <laughs> So if you um, have a comment, please, please comment, like, share, subscribe, all those good things because it all helps my channel and I love you all. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.